today, tricep day. So we're gonna talk about how we get these big meaty triceps hanging off your arms. Triceps have always been one of my better body parts and triceps are, like anything, genetics come into play. Some people just have better muscle groups than others. My, my triceps are good, my chest needs help. It's just, it's the give and take we have with every bodybuilder, with every person aspiring to have a better physique. You have some better body parts and some weaker body parts. Today, we're gonna talk a little bit about how we train this, the, the tricep. And really just breaking it down to show you guys exactly how the tricep functions so you, you then can understand why we train this way. So whether you're following the H3P arms, the swole program, the lean, athlete or power, you're gonna know a little bit more about why we train triceps the way we do. So first things first, triceps, I don't have a good lateral head. So you can see, this is the lateral head, long head, and then this one down there, that is the medial head of the triceps. And that kind of lays underneath. So the long head starts on your scapula, ends on your ulna. Lateral head, humerus, ulna. Medial head, humerus, ulna. So you can see all three actually cross your elbow joint and attach to your ulna. The scapula also crosses the shoulder joint. So anytime your muscle is crossing the joint, that's really how you know how to work that muscle. So the tricep, obviously, it is involved in extending the elbow. Same with the shoulder. So you have flexing, extending your shoulder. So you know you're gonna have to do some type of movement that involves this, a kickback, a press down, anything that involves your, your, your elbow extending. So first things first, basic compound movement. I always like to start off with something that is going to get me bigger. When we first come to the gym, we wanna gain size. How do we do that for triceps? Well, we need to know how the tricep functions. You have three different heads. The long head is made up of both type one and type two B muscle fibers. The short head or lateral head is just type two B, and then the medial head is just type one. So what does that mean? Type two B muscle fibers, quick, explosive, powerful movement. So lower in reps, that's really the, the type of muscle that is gonna get bigger. Those are the big muscle fibers in our body. So, for our mass builder, I'm gonna show you guys what we like to do, and that's close grip bench press. So on close grip bench press, setting up just like you would a normal bench press, we're gonna be a little bit, or a lot of bit closer. So on this, I like to go thumbs almost touching. So I get about an inch away from my thumbs. And for triceps, what we're gonna to wanna to make sure we're doing here, all the way down, and then exploding, because again, the type of muscle fibers, those big type 2B muscle fibers in that lateral head is what we're, we're working here. So we gotta explode up, concentrate down, explode up. So a lot of times I will just do close grip bench press on its own, the compound movement that, that really is gonna get those big triceps. But what I typically, more often than not, start off with is a skull crusher plus a close grip bench. Now the skull crusher, We'll demonstrate here in a sec for you. We're gonna be lying down and just extending our arms using that long head of the triceps, stretch and then contract there at the top. That coupled with our close grip mass builder. So after I fail with my extension here, I'm gonna come close grip bench press. It's a lot harder to do a skull crusher than it is a close grip. So close grip's perfect after you've already failed on your skull crusher. So it's gonna look something like this. Okay, failed on that. Coming uh, close grip. That'd be an example of how to superset and get the most bang for your buck. So I wasn't working to true failure there, but you can see if I'm hitting eight reps on that, that's gonna work in the long head and then switching to that close grip bench press, really powerful and strong. Make sure you're extending out all the way. That's gonna be that lateral head. So that's typically what I do first. And again, I might start off with 10, next set, eight, followed up by six. So relatively ro lower reps than we might do for you know some rope work. All right, probably my second favorite mass for developing triceps is the dip. Now the dip can be utilized with just your body weight. If you have a machine like this, 
you can use the pad and it actually assists you up or you can use a weight belt and actually increase the amount of weight you are dipping. I'm just gonna be showing you guys why we do a dip. So think about what we were doing for the triceps on the close grip bench, pressing it away from our body. Exact same movement, pretty much just now done from a standing position, all the way down, coming up at the top, walking out. That's hitting a lot of that lateral head, medial. And then as we get down and we really stretch here, it's even activating some of that long head. Now with this, I'll typically add weight. Again, I wanna train heavier. So when I say heavier, I'm talking about I wanna use more weight. I wanna fail, usually, depending on what my rep range is, under 10. So this is another great one to go 10, eight, six, maybe even down to four or start at 12. But three to four sets here usually suffices. And with this, I usually superset that with the same type of overhead motion. So just like our skull crusher and close grip bench combo, we're working that powerful compound movement, just like we did on the dip, and we're supersetting it with an overhead rope extension. The reason I like ropes more than dumbbells, again, constant tension, great stretch here, and at the top, if I'm using a single dumbbell, it's gonna be a lot harder to get full extension. I can't rotate my wrist out at the top, that's what I like about the rope and the cable machine. At the top, I'm able to separate the handles and then force my wrist out. Getting a good stretch, working that long head. Stretch, contract. A little bit more reps on this. 12 reps here. So again, you pick something, a major compound movement with a long head movement, superset those two things. So now that we've got our, our first exercise, again, you could choose from the close grip bench press superset with the skull crushers or the dip superset with the overhead rope extension. We've now gotten that first superset out of the way. What we're gonna move on to next, you're gonna see a, me using this machine a lot today. A lot of cables, cables are great for triceps and bicep work. It allows constant tension where otherwise, if we're doing like a dumbbell kickback, we're losing that tension at the top. If we're pulling from a cable, that's in front of us rather than gravity, we're actually getting resistance and constant tension throughout the whole entire movement. So, so all the variations for press downs. Now press downs, pretty much we're using again, lateral and then medial. So, you know, again, we're working all three heads no matter what tricep exercise we're doing, but the thing that's gonna allow us to work that lateral head more is at the bottom, if I just stop here, but actually turning it out. So here, turning that out at the bottom. If we wanna work more medial, we're gonna throw a, an actually an easy bar on here. I'm gonna go supinated. So everything we were doing is pronating. Here we're gonna go supinated and wide. So the wider we are on our press down, being supinated in the supinated position, more medial delt we're working. And that's gonna be this, that tricep muscle right in there. It's that nice one you get when you're, you're, you're hanging, you see that long head and also that medial head there. So elbows to the side, pressing straight down. Because the medial head does a lot better with higher reps, we're gonna be doing at least 15 reps here. Three sets to four sets, 15 reps here, depending on if you have a warm-up set. So this is where I like also supersetting. So I might hit right here. I'll hit my reverse grip. And then in between that, I'll just take this off. And I'll do my tricep kickbacks. Now this puts us in a maximally contracted position the mind, muscle, the mind muscle connection here, this is why I love this movement. Again, if I do this with dumbbells, I'm really just fighting gravity. The dumbbell is a weight, I'm fighting it against the ground. Here, I'm actually fighting the cable machine. So that pull back, it's the exact opposite direction of where the cable wants to pull me. And as I come up to the top, again, rotating my wrist out, trying to get as much of that lateral head as I can. This is one I like to go 12 to 15 reps with as well. A little bit higher reps, working just crazy mind-muscle connection here. One other thing I wanted to touch on too, the reason I like utilizing cable, because you can really isolate even more instead of doing easy bar on our reverse. If we want to take it a step further, we can do single arm. So let's say tricep, right, your right tricep is stronger than your left tricep. So you're gonna to wanna to come over and you're gonna to wanna to start with your left tricep, 
pin that to the side and extending that elbow. Anytime we're extending the elbow, elbow joint there, we're working triceps. Work it until you've failed in the proper rep range for your left arm. And then let's say, you know, you're supposed to get 12, only got 10. You're only gonna do 10 with your right arm. That way we're only as strong as our weak side here. We could bump it down, work that long head, and now we're doing single arm, overhead tricep extension, working each side. So pretty much so far what we've, what we've learned, if you want big triceps, you gotta have lower rep range, explosive type movements, get, get that big lateral head. We're usually super setting that. I always do at least one, if not two, overhead movements. And that could be overhead lying down, which is gonna be like a skull crusher type movement, a standing rope extension or a single arm. And then from there, tricep kickbacks and reverse tricep extension. The only thing you really can't replicate on a free motion type machine is your dip or your close grip bench press. For all that isolation work, this free motion machine is gonna get the trick done. That's why we have two in the gym. But anyhow, um, hopefully understand a little bit more of the anatomy of the tricep. Lateral head, long head, medial head. The long head and the medial head, a little bit more slow twitch than just the lateral head. Long head's gonna contain both. Lateral head's just gonna be a lot more type 2B, quick twitch, and that's gonna be allow you to get that big old, big old horseshoe there. So I need to work a little bit more on my lateral head. Hopefully this was informational for you guys. If you guys like this style of video, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you guys wanna see next, next body part, how we break it down, how we explain it, how we get the most out of our training. I'm out of here.